Hi, Stephen. First, I want to thank you for this great opportunity to promote our business uh, that's had a little bit of challenges during this time of COVID. So I am the founder and executive editor of Running Wild Press. We started Running Wild in 2016 because we realized that there were tons and tons of amazing stories that weren't making it to, um, to readers and potential fans because the standard business model for most larger uh, publishers is that they will uh, look at a piece, uh, they'll look at a submission and they'll say, okay, well, does this have any kind of true comps? And if there are any real comps that um, have done well in the market, then they'll pick it up. Otherwise, it's unlikely that they'll actually pick up the, st the story. Well, that meant that there were a lot of fantastic stories being left on the table. So that's why we decided to start Running Wild Press, where we publish great stories with great writing that don't fit neatly in a box. Along those same lines, we also started Rise, which is where we publish great genre stories written by people of color and other lesser represented groups. And the reason for, for Rise, and actually in a way Running Wild as well, is because if you actually look at the statistics, when uh, you look at the books that were published between 1950 and 2017, 2018, 95 percent were written by caucasians which is ridiculous that means that there's a high likelihood that there are a ton of stories and a ton of perspectives that are not being accurately represented or even being represented in the marketplace that is especially true if you also look at the fact that by 2044 51% of Americans are anticipated to be non-white. So it just, it leaves a lot of great storytelling uh, on the table. That same, those same statistics or similar statistics are also true when you look at the people who are in leadership roles and decision-making roles within publishing. So we wanted to address that um, on both the back end uh, and behind the scenes as well as in front. Okay, so with that, when COVID hit, uh, we had already gotten two best of 2019 uh, stories as um, stated by Kirkus Reviews. So one of them is Dark Corners, which was written by Ruben Teehee Hazlett. And Ruben's just a fantastic guy. Um, the majority of these stories are actually uh, more along the lines of LGBTQ uh, stories. And the majority of the characters are actually individuals of color, just as a FYI. And then another fantastic book that we also uh, got a best of 2019 is by Suzanne Samples, which is Frontal Matter, Glue Gone Wild, which is about her battle with brain cancer. So uh, when COVID hit, we actually ended up getting hit pretty hard, more so from a distribution perspective. All of a sudden, a lot of our books, it was they were difficult to get them published. It was difficult to get them to the marketplace. And we were really, really struggling. On top of that, we're fully self-funded. What that means is really my day jobs, what was uh, supporting us and enabling us to uh, survive and make it through difficult times. Well, I got laid off. And that meant that all, all of my... Uh, savings now is what is uh, keep, keeping us um, alive. So with that, uh, I would love, love, love if um, you would do us the tremendous uh, blessing and, and favor of uh, spreading the word about our stories. Again, they're phenomenal. We get um, amazing reviews across the board and uh, all folks have to do is go to runningwildpress.com or runningwildpress.bookshop.org and pick pick up one of our titles we would be so so incredibly grateful many of our books are available on audio many of our books are available on ebook and paperback so we would be incredibly thankful uh, for your help so with that i thank you again again i'm lisa kastner uh, founder and executive editor of Running Wild Press. 
Um, those were some of our fabulous books. And here are a couple more. Um, Mickey, the giveaway boy about a, a gentleman's uh, being given, literally given away by his parents to help them um, survive uh, very dark periods in their lives. And then uh, Terrence Hawkins, Turing's Graveyard, which also was named uh, Best of 2020 by Kirkus Reviews. So thank you again, and I, I appreciate this time.